okay this part here um, generate topo surface from link care and then with this let's open up this one we can now close this file open up O2 cat topo this one we'll show you how to create a topographical surface from contour maps so again this time round under insert again click on link cat this time round look for site plan AutoCAD site plan Two things you must do, I explain to you why. First things first, you must make sure current view only is not checked. If you checked it, chances are later you create problems for you, you can't select the contour. And the very fact that you need the site plan to be all around because the site could be a hilly site, it could be many many floor levels up, across. So in the floor plan itself, you'll probably see all of those things. Second part of positioning, you want it to be auto center to center here. Select it this way. And then click open. you find that you will lag your palm a little bit. Huh? This one, it's quite a dense uh, drawing, this one. Okay. This is what you will in practice get from your the topo plan you will get from your building or your site surveyor. So they put point to point and then they will they will basically key all the points and they will link up the lines and they will create a contour map like that. Next, you need to understand the layering structure a little bit first. So we click on the we click on the topo plan and then you can click on query here. Alright? And then you can you can zoom in a little bit to see whether these topo lines belong to which layer here. So you can use the query command. When you click on it already there will be a query button here there is a query button click on that query button nothing will happen until you fish out one of those lines within the contour map itself so I will click on any one of these lines here and it gives you detailed information particularly you want to know this what layer it is in? It is in this CF, okay, dash DEP dash INT. This layer, that's one. That's one I know. And uh, what about this one? CF index. So if you look under here, we are prepared for you. It is these two layers here after we've done our detection. Huh? it will largely affect these two layers so the contour the contour lines are within these two layers itself so how do we what do we do next now we are going to you make use of these contour information these contour lines to generate a surface if you do not do this the next thing what you need to do is you will start plotting them point by point by point and this being a more or less a quite realistic site eh? guess how long this is going to take you to trace if you were to trace this contour point by point by point it will take you hours if not take you days to do this part of the work so therefore it's unrealistic to expect you to, to be able to do this no 
What we are going to do is we are going to use the topo surface command to help us. All right. So let's go to massing and site. Click on massing and site ribbon. Click on topo surface. Click create from import drop down list and click select import instance this one and click click on one of the contour lines do you have this popping out if you do not have this popping out you made a, you made a mistake when you were importing the drawing already repeat i got this wrong so we messed all these things up ready never mind we messed this up no big deal huh? no big deal now hey follow me again the fact that you cannot click um, is because you made a mistake at this point let me highlight to you now come again i'm going to click on insert link cat now click link cat select the autocad site plan this part now you made a mistake here this one if you check the current view only when you try to fish out the lines it will not appear it won't it just won't all right just make sure it is not checked because it needs to appear on all levels all levels that's the reason why and make sure you auto center to center so you don't have to align the plan and everything leave this alone and click open let it load let it open up everything Nothing wrong with making a mistake on this, huh? Because someone needs to make a mistake on this so that we know how to rectify them, okay? This part. When done, click on Massing and Site. Next, click on Topo Surface. Click on this, Create from Import, Select Import Instance. This one. Click on this, all right, and click on any one of the contour lines. Contour lines, I click on that. You should now see add points from selected layers. This one. You will click on check none. <laughs> because we gave you a clue. We gave you a clue here. Okay, so you will fish out these two layers DEP INT and DEP index here. Let's fish out these two layers. Yeah. After this is done, click OK. And you will see Remy doing some form of background processing already. And you will find that a topo surface has been generated quite a lot of information inside already this is not over yet many of us especially the new users make this mistake oh it's done see i got my topo surface and everything can't wait jump over to something oh and so on oh jump over and see the 3d view and so on after that oh then after that i want to process it further hey, let's let's insert a wall john how come the wall cannot work now how come everything all the commands are frozen ready i can't use any of these things now and so on some most of it cannot use the reason why you can't do this is i repeat that huh? the reason why you cannot do this all the commands are frozen it is because you have not finished the job yet you haven't finished creating the topo surface yet you must tell rabbit whether it's a tick or a cross meaning i want it or i don't want it in this case yes we want the surface so we're going to click on tick yes we want it so it happens and with this you can click on view 3d and then change the shading mode graphic display options to 
shaded mode and then you will see the you will now see the topo map generated here this way the shaded mode is here click on the little box down here that little box Mm. Now again, if you just want to see the surface, select the topo map, use the sunglasses and hide away the element and you will see the topo map now. It looks really really gradual but actually there are some level changes if you cut a section through it you will see this clearly You cut a section through this, you will see how the topographical map would behave this way. It's a gigantic site, this one. 